we try to control the way the water will flow. There's really not much we can do about eliminating the water. Um, it's, it is what it is. But what we try to do is tell it as much as we can where it should go. This is where um, the, the actions, the recent actions by the Army Corps of Engineers really fit in, uh, in terms of opening floodgates or um, even uh, blowing up parts of levees, is to really help them control the flow of this river and um, drive it towards areas that if flooded would be of uh, smaller consequences uh, as opposed to other areas that eventually the river, if left uncontrolled, would flood. Now, I know that it is a sensitive issue because there's no zero consequence area to, to flood. Uh, it will inadvertently be people's homes, uh, people's farmlands, um, and therefore it is very hard, I think, as engineers to really communicate um, the issue of lower consequences versus higher consequences because for a person it is their house and that's the highest priority and the highest consequence. Some of the levees are further mitigated by the addition of cut-off walls, as we call them. These walls, what they do is that they, um, they help the levees withstand the under seepage, so water seeping underneath or through the levee itself, which is one possible failure mode. What we study here is uh, ways to come up with new materials for these cut-off walls. Uh, now, the reason why we're looking into new materials as opposed to uh, using a typical slurry type cut of wall as we call it which is a, a mix of cement and bentonite or bentonite and soil mixed in place or even at some locations steel uh, sheet piles like we saw in New Orleans um, some of these materials will not work well for a combination of um, dynamic loading as well now the dynamic loading would come, for example, from an earthquake scenario, and um, this is something that we studied for California and the Sacramento-San Joaquin River uh, system and Delta in the Bay Area. However, that could definitely be applicable to the central Mississippi River Valley where we have the New Madrid seismic zone um, that could potentially give an earthquake that would be very devastating. We're doing a lot of analysis trying to understand how a levee responds under a dynamic load to begin with and then how that performance will change, how that response will be affected by the presence of these cut-off walls uh, that would help the mitigation of the under seepage problem but also uh, help make the levee stronger given a possible earthquake scenario.